Hello everyone, welcome to the Geoecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and you have been watching my videos on geography and various topics of geography. So in this session on biogeography, we are going to learn about the various aspects of soil formation, the factors of soil formation, the processes when those factors undergo for the formation of soil across the world. So we are going to learn in details. But before we go ahead, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also do share the videos with others as well. So now let's learn about the soils, its various factors of formation and the processes of formation in this particular lecture. So there is a difference between factors forming soil and when those factors go under different processes. So we are going to learn about various factors and the processes that are important for the soil formation. But before we go ahead, the first important point is to define this soil formation. So soil can be simply defined as a mixture of small rock particles or debris particles. That is important to remember here that it's not a element or a compound, rather it is a mixture and it is made up of small rock particles, debris particles and organic matters like humus which develops on the earth's surface and supports the growth of plants. That's the simplest definition of soil. Now let's go to the factors of formation of soil. So what are the various factors? If you look into this flow diagram, you can see the first factor is the parent material, right? So for genesis of soil, the parent is important. And when we say parent material, it is signifying the rock types. Remember, sedimentary rock, igneous rock, metamorphic rock. Those are the important parent material for the soil formation. Then we have the second factor that is the climate. Then what we have is the third factor which is topography. And then we have fourth factor which is organisms. That is where the organic component comes to the soil. And the fifth and last component is time which is most important of all because soil does not form in a day. It takes lots of years, millions of years to form a layer of soil and that is important. So what you observe here in this flow diagram are all these five factors and these five factors go under different processes to form various soils with their unique properties. So now let's go ahead and discuss further more. So before we go ahead, let's understand the soil profile first. So soil profile is basically a general profile of the soil that is general layering or stratification of various components of soil. So when we say there are different layers formed under the soil after millions of years of evolution, so what is a general pattern? The general pattern is alphabetically O, A, B and C. So if you observe this O, A, B, C, what you see here in this diagram here, that O layer is the topmost layer which is from 0 to 2 feet. That is a general observation, right? And which contains humus on the ground surface. That's important. And then you have horizon A. Now A horizon ranges up to 10 feet, right? And it is also called topsoil. So if you are confused that O horizon is topsoil, remember horizon A is topsoil, not O. O is only containing the humus part, right? The dead decayed remains of plants and animals. And remember, the horizon A is also rich in organic matter and typically darker in color as you can see here in the diagram as well. And remember this is also called zone of leaching. And remember zone of leaching is where the soil loses the nutrient, right? So all the nutrient present in this layer is lost due to the various processes and it goes to the other layer and deposits further. So when you observe the horizon B after A, it is called subsoil because it is in subsequence with the soil horizon A and also it is called zone of accumulation. Why? Because the above layer was zone of leaching from where in the next layer you find that all the nutrients go and percolate and finally accumulate. So that's why it is called zone of accumulation as well, right? It contains soluble minerals such as calcite in arid climates as well, right? And the sea horizon that is from 30 feet to about 48 feet, that is a general observation. Remember, it contains withered rock materials and it is that layer that connects the entire horizon with the bed rock and that is the most important point here. So this is a general observation of our soil profile. Now coming to the processes, so there are several processes that we need to discuss because remember soil formation is a very complex phenomenon. 
and if any in biogeography we try to decipher or decode the process of formation there are several processes that we need to understand so the first process is accumulation of the material so materials are added to the soil such as organic matter and decomposing materials or new mineral materials deposited by different forces of ice water wind they accumulate over time and remember this happens where in the top layer of the soil that is important so the first process that we learn is accumulation then what we have is the leaching process remember leaching and losses that are important so leaching is basically the removal of soluble components of the soil column so when the soluble components are removed through the action of water remember water washes down the soil nutrients and carries away the bases such as calcium held as exchangeable ions in the clay humus complexes and also as well as it is responsible for acidification through the substitution of various ions as well many times right so leaching is another important process so after that we have something called transformation and illuviation now here the soil particles hang in the suspension after when they are leached such as clay are transformed which they accumulate so transformation is basically what the change in structure the change in chemical composition so transformation is the chemical weathering of the silt sand and formation of clay minerals as well as the change of organic materials into decay resistant organic matter so that is important point to remember and after the clay and other accumulated materials are washed from the upper horizons and deposited into the lower horizons as we saw in the last diagram so that is important here now there are two words that we must discuss here one is called illuviation and the other is called alluviation the word from i and the word from e so what is the difference between these two remember illuviation here refers to the soil particles held in suspension such as clay when they are accumulated or deposited so illuviation is the process of accumulation right after when there is leaching occurring but alluviation remember e here soil particles which are held in suspension such as clay are not deposited rather they are removed or washed away so when there is removal remember it is alluviation from e right removal while if it is deposition or accumulation it is alluviation so don't get confused while you are reading these words alluviation means deposition alluviation that is external going away wash away so that is important point to remember here now let's go to the next process this process is called podsolization and translocation so what is this podsolization so podsolization occurs when strongly acidic solutions of soil cause the breakdown of the minerals of clay that is the most important point so it's like acid breaking the various clay minerals right that is called podsolization and when we say podsolization there is also something called translocation now remember the word is trans it means it is not located at a particular place rather from one place it is going to the other place and getting translocated in the process while breaking down right so that is important process now coming to the fifth one it is called laterization now remember laterization is important word here as a important soil forming process which is also called pedogenic process and remember it is common where in the tropical and subtropical environment why because they have high temperatures and heavy precipitation so where you have high temperatures and heavy precipitation what happens there is a rapid weathering of rocks and minerals right and also remember movement of large amount of water through the soil leads to alluviation that is basically going away wash away leaching right and that is where laterization process is important right then what we have is something called calcification as the name itself suggests what is happening here calcium containing thing right so occurs when evapotranspiration exceeds precipitation remember in areas where you have lots of temperature right high temperature so what will happen evaporation is also high transpiration through the nodes of the plant leaf is also very high but precipitation is less right in such environment there is upward movement of dissolved alkaline salts like calcium salts right from the ground water and this is where calcification occurs so what happens there is a deposition of calcium carbonate in the soil or so called salt in the soil 
that is where the alkalinity of the soil increases right so at the same time the movement of rainwater causes a downward movement of the salt as well in many parts of the world so remember calcification is important process of soil formation as well then what we have is something called glaying g l e y i n g so what is this glaying and where does it occur glaying occurs in waterlogged anaerobic conditions when remember it is saying anaerobic condition that is lack of oxygen right so when it is lack of oxygen that is anaerobic condition where you have completely marshy or wetlands when the iron compounds are reduced and either removed from the soil or segregated out as mottles or concretions right that's important in the soil and generally the marshy or wetland areas where you have complete water coverage there when there is a decomposition in the soil under anaerobic process that is the process where it is called glaying so glaying is also one of the important processes and remember the anaerobic the lack of oxygen condition here so glaying or glazeation is also the same word here and the term glay is coming from the russian word which basically means blue green or gray clay right so glaying or glazeation is a process of soil formation resulting in development of a layer or a horizon called glay horizon which is largely clay like right and this happens due to poor drainage condition because it is water locked area as we have learned right apart from this there is another process which is related to a word called turbation and remember turbation is nothing but mixing of soil right so what happens there is something called pedo turbation as a process that we must understand pedo is basically coming for soil so when soil is mixed in different environment it is called pedo turbation so it is another process that is important for the formation of soil so it is the process of mixing of the soil where the most common types of pedo turbation are faunal pedo turbation floral pedo turbation and argillic pedo turbation so the word itself is faunal fauna means coming from animalia kingdom so animals such as ants earthworm moles rodents humans right when these are decomposed and mixed in the soil horizon that is called faunal pedo turbation while at the same time if we have floral pedo turbation it basically means soils are mixed with the plant remains right in the pits and mounds that's important and there is something called argillic pedo turbation as well so it is mixing of materials in the soil by churning process remember the churning process the movement caused by swell and shrinking clays as observed in very deep black cotton soils especially in india if you observe right so this kind of swelling and mixing of soil under too much of moisture that is called argillic pedo turbation so this is important as a process for soil formation so now when we have learned about the details of the factors of soil formation and also the various kinds of processes of soil formation in this lecture in the sessions to come we'll be talking more on soil classification but before we go ahead don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also share the videos with others as well so stay safe stay tuned take care